Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, just trying to find my element cards. Be with y'all in just a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Guess I wasn't prepared, huh? How's everybody doing? Hopefully y'all are having a blessed, blessed week. Blessed start to a blessed week. Where's my earth signs? Earth signs do not want to go first. Earth signs are not in the mood. They're first today and I can't find y'all daggone card. There it is. <laughs> We are going to do a general reading. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, nieces and nephews. Hey, my loves. Sorry, I know this thing is probably shaking. I keep tapping it. Let's try that again. My apologies. All right. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. So, earth, fire, water, air. Okay. We are going to do a general reading, but we are going to do it by element. I know everyone's been asking me to do signs or to do elements, so we're going to do that. Hey, Raven. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Veronica. Um, so we're going to start out with our um, earth signs, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then we're going to move to fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and end with the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you cannot stay, I understand. Make sure that you follow me over on YouTube. That way you're able to play the message back, okay? My um, only YouTube page is The Healing Butterfly, okay? The Healing Butterfly is my only YouTube channel, and all of my TikToks are there. Um, if by chance you need a reading at this particular moment or later on in the day, just know that all of my readings are timeless. So if another reading calls to you, go ahead and tune in. All right. Good to see everybody. Um, again, in the background, that's where you'll know which particular sign I'm on. Make sure you help your cousins out in the chat. If they ask you, it's a general. So we're going to hit a little bit of your general energy. Um, we're going to get into an abundance and finance message, a message from spirit, and then also some love cards for each and every element. So we're just going to do an overall check-in, starting with my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Hey, Heather, thank you so much for the rose love bug. Good to see you. All right. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I'm feeling like there's some, um, there's something about... What do they call it? Compartmentalizing, right? Making sure that the strife or the energy from work is not then moved over into your connections with friends and family, but even the strife from friends and family, that that's not, that stress doesn't trickle over into how you are with the kids day to day. It's like making sure that you're compartmentalizing who really pissed you off and why they pissed you off or whatever, what have you, okay? Don't allow it to just be one big ball of, of stress and confusion, right? Spirit right now really wants you to kind of make sure that when you're with your friends, you kind of let the load off, right? Talk about what pissed you off, but then let it go, right? There's something about just making sure that you're not harboring energy from one situation to the next, okay? Because I'm hearing there's silver lining and there's happiness, right, that you should be having or happy moments that you should be celebrating way bigger than you're allowing yourself to. Um, possibly because, again, the strife from work and then you go to the friends and it's like you want to kind of get out what you need to get out. But then maybe somebody pisses you off there and it just kind of turns into a big cluster when really that person didn't really deserve all that you gave them. Right. It was it was the stress from earlier in the week. It was the badass traffic that you had to go through. It was the fact that your check was supposed to get here and it didn't get here. And now your friend, you're sitting at this table, supposed to be having a good time with your friends and your friend says something stupid and it just that was the last straw. So they just don't want you to blow up. Um, and then again, just making sure that those who deserve that type of response from you, that they get it. Because by the time, I feel like by the time you circle back around to work or something, it's like, oh man, whatever, I ain't even about to waste my time. But it's like, no, that's where that energy should have been put. That snap in the neck and putting somebody in a place should have been placed with that person at work, not with the friend who just happened to be in the line of crossfire. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It could be a variety of different things. It doesn't have to be between friends and work. It could be something else, okay? All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's get into it. All eyes on me. Congrats on the future, babe. Right? Like, it's whatever happened, happened. Right. But there's silver lining and things that are going on that let you know that life is about to work for you. So in the moments that you can enjoy life, enjoy them. Don't let the strife of past heartbreak or you're not getting what you need at work. Don't let that stop you from seeing. And, and I'm hearing adoring how this journey is actually folding out for you. You're starting to see that certain things that weren't supposed to be there is because they weren't supposed to be there. You're not 
calling anyone back into your life. You're not sitting around resentful and, and all of that. Like, I want them to come back and love me again. It was like, no, you didn't love me right for the right reasons. And that's okay because God got something better. Okay? Ooh, your cards are popping today. All right. One card at a time, please, sir. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And y'all know that I read for everybody. So male or female, take what resonates. Leave the rest because it's still a general collective reading for all Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay? Also, I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up with some flowers or some type of something this Valentine's Day that you were not expecting. Even if it's like um, between the friends, right? The friends all exchange something to each other or all y'all decide to go out and love on each other or something like that. Okay? Yeah, rest. Have that glass of wine. Run that hot bath. Take your clip. Put your heels up. Here's something about put your heels up. Put your feet up. Um, even if it's like, oh, man, I need to go and do these dishes, babe. It's two plates, three forks, and a bowl. Leave it there till tomorrow. Like, rinse them out and leave them there if, if, you, if it, you're if you that squeamish about it. But, like, sometimes you don't need to fill your, your time with something. Sometimes you fill your time with nothing but self-care and rest. Okay, so even if you're like, oh, man, I'm done everything. Let me go find something else to do. No, let you find a seat. Let you find a massage parlor. Let you go find a spa day. Let you go find a vacation. <laughs> let you go find something where you can just relax, relate, release, and love on yourself. Okay, Cap um, my earth sign. I'm going to say Capricorn. So maybe Cap, that's, maybe it's ooh, my throat chakra. All right. Two more cards for my earth signs. Take care of yourself. Okay, I just heard take care of yourself. Momentum, like I said, y'all know what you're manifesting. Y'all know what y'all see in your future. Y'all can see that God's doing something bigger. Like the things that didn't manifest, didn't manifest for a reason. Or the person, or the job, or whatever it was. It was like once you really saw the outcome, you're like, you know what? I ended up talking to two other people at that company and they are stressed out all the time. The, actually, the PTO ain't that good. The benefits really ain't that good. Like you end up hearing either some background about either a person, place, thing, or a job. And it's like... That was God's protection, right? You're going somewhere, love. One more here. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Didn't I say it's time for you? Fill your own cup. Take time to yourself. Rest. Rejuvenate. Spend time with the kids. Anything that brings a smile to you and high vibration is where you want to be. Anything else, unless it's a requirement, like you got to go to work because you need that check because you got to pay bills. I get it. But anything else that you don't feel like doing, don't. Do it. I don't care who's asking. Send them to me, okay? And I'll tell them. <laughs> Sleepless nights. Um, some of you may just be in your head about, you know, what is to come. Okay, I know that that person wasn't a good person or this job may not be the right job, but what's coming? I feel like there's something about either turning on gospel music, Reiki healing music, rain sounds, Somebody likes the wind, not so much the rain, maybe like wind whipping. Whatever it is that can put you in a tranquil state. It's that time. Some of you um, may have stopped taking melatonin. Maybe you want to start your melatonin back up. But I feel like these are thoughts of you kind of just trying to figure out what God got going on. And we all know God's plan is God's plan and he will roll it out as God feels the need. But you will be. There's so much more. There's going to be flights. So if you're used to taking a lot of trips, taking a lot of flights or just getting out and doing you, that's getting ready to come back. That adventure lifestyle is getting ready to come back for you um, no later than March or April. You either have a, a something booked or you'll start to see the momentum that life is starting to be fun and, and adventurous again. OK, but just make sure that you're filling up your own cup on that on that process. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just noticing that all the cards aren't here. All right. So that's just general. Um, let's get into your your abundance real quick. Something tells me to go to love first. All right. Let's get the love cards out first. Jeez Louise. Um, if you don't love me, somebody else will. Do y'all know that song? If you don't love me, somebody else will. And it's something about being loved the right way, nieces and nephews. It's like, I don't want just somebody just to have, and I don't want somebody just to have me. I want to be adored. I want to be loved. I want to be learned. I want to grow with you. I want, I want to know you. I want you to know me. So whoever didn't love you right in the past, don't worry about it. Yeah, take back your power. You are giving someone control over you. how you feel. Your happiness should depend only on you. So, and I think you already know that. Some of y'all are calling back your power, 
right? Like some of you actually do rituals, you hold your crystals, you release that person, you do burning bowl rituals. Some of you are just like, I'm not going to let you get me outside myself no more. Some of y'all have co-parenting situations that you still need to be cordial with this person, but you're not allowing this person to get you disheveled. It's a very resting bitch face. <laughs> Sorry, that's what spirit just said. Male or female is just like, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you happy. I'm not going to give you sad. I'm going to just give you very monotone, monotone energy, monotone facial expressions, monotone voice. Like I'm going to just be monotone with you engagement your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment like i said the next person that comes along is a life partner let's take out the wife and husband because i know people are like i ain't getting married you ain't putting me on no legal documents well whatever it is it's going to be a life partner one more here for my earth signs and gratitude you need to be grateful for the love already present in your life to attract more of it and some of that is loving on yourself loving your journey loving loving you right Top to bottom, in and out. And I'm hearing in the pieces and the parts that you don't particularly care for, change it. Oh, I want to lose this weight. Oh, I want to dress like this. Well, try it out. See what happens, right? Don't beat yourself up or just love you how you are. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know one person that's going to walk away from that muffin top if you are their person, right? That muffin top and them stretch marks ain't about to stop nobody from doing what needs to be done. I'm just saying. And if it does... That's not your person, okay? Difficulties, jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to success of this connection. So um, the thing in the past, or the, per the thing, ooh, Jesus, I don't call people things. Are you now referring to this person as a thing, the person who broke your heart in the past? <laughs> An inanimate object. Um, the person from the past could have been jealous of you. So if that's something that you felt, like jealous of your stature and your intelligence and just how something about how you bounce back from life so maybe just your strength and your power to, to take the reins even if the tower falls you'll build that you'll build up a stronger foundation for yourself so there's a, there was a lot of jealousy um some of the jealousy if, if that doesn't resonate like your person being jealous of you it could have been their friends jealous of the connection that y'all had and how deep or how quick it came together Maybe this particular person never talked about who they would date, but they talked about you and their friends. I just feel like there's some jealousy with the friends, like calling somebody a simp or like, man, you just or like whoever you doing this just for the moment. You're going to be back in a minute with us running the streets. And it was just like that didn't happen when the friend had said it. And so the friend got jealous because now you found somebody and I don't have nobody. Real childish, real childish. But just know that love is coming and it's a life partner. All right, let's get one card for your finances and abundance. And then we'll get a mindful message from the spirit team and we'll move on to my fire signs. One card for finances and abundance. Thank you, spirit. Words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest and you already had that earlier with the manifest right, right here. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own in the world. I'm sorry. Always describe your own and the world's economic uh, situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So again, with the sleepless nights of when is it going to come? How is it going to come? Maybe that's another thing. Affirm at night that everything I've done today will open the doors for tomorrow. Ashe, amen, namaste, and so mote it be. I am so grateful, God, that all of the steps that I took in the last week is going to open up doors for me, right? I see my financial abundance coming in now, right? I'm aligned with the, with the blessings and the prayers that I've sent to you, God, now. And I'm grateful that you are manifesting them into my life now. There's something about using now at the end of your affirmations as well. Um, speak your affirmations as if they're happening now, okay? All right. And let's get something from your spirit team when it comes to mindful messages. She said more than a thing, all kinds of names. Oh, child. <laughs> Just read that. <laughs> People be taking us there, don't they? Listen, some of our mouths are ruthless, okay? It's worse than an AK-47, okay? On a drive-by, anybody and everybody can get hit. Like you don't don't piss off a earth sign. She that she he whoever will show you how much fire is up under that goddamn earth. Do you hear me? What they say the center of the of the world's core is okay. Mess with an earth sign if you want to. All right, let's keep going. One card from. Um, let me get two cards from your spirit team. Yeah, there it is. 
have fun. Playful. I go about life playfully and take things lightly. I can turn any hard day or heavy burden into a fun adventure. When, um, why spend time upset when there is so much fun to be had? And we've already talked about that. I'm not going to get on my soapbox, but don't let nobody take you outside yourself. You've come a long way, my loves. I write earth signs and your last card is gratitude. I love acknowledging all the little things I am grateful for. No matter what is going on, I always have things to be thankful for. Whenever I feel up, I am feeling upset, I can fill my page with things I appreciate. This begins to shift my mood and focus onto which brings me joy. So if some of you need to journal at night, then journal. If you need to listen to music, listen to music. Whatever these sleepless nights of you being in your head all about something, get it out, change the mood, transmute it, something. It can be anything. Turn your music on and, and dance around the house. Go and uh, make a pop, a warm pop tart. Does that make you feel like, what? The, what is it? For me, I'll throw one of my throw covers in the... Um, in the dryer, go take a bath. And then when I get out, wrap up in that warm blanket, child. Mm. So whatever it is for you at night, bring yourself back to yourself, healed, whole, positive, strong, right? Call your energy back at the end of the day. All right. Thank you, Earth Signs. I know it was short, but got to get through everybody. <laughs> so I really hope that that helped. God bless each and every one of you. All right. All right, earth signs, all done. Let's move to my fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. All right, em uh, who's that? Empress Amber, you better do it. You better dance it out, okay? All right, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. I'm hearing One Wish by Ray J, if I had One Wish. I'm seeing somebody riding out in the car late night. Is somebody just riding out just to get a cl like clear their head, clear their mind? Are you taking somebody's taking a long way home? Maybe somebody's in somber energy. It could be you or it could be someone else. I keep hearing, I just want things to work out. So I don't know what that may mean. And if you happen to have called a brother, okay. Thank you, spirit. They're very specific. It would have been a brother, a mom, stepmom, foster mom. An aunt or a play aunt. So a brother, a mom, foster mom, stepmom, a play aunt. A grandfather or great grandfather. Or an uncle. Blood uncle. All right. They, they are with you. They know that you're calling on them. They know that this is a time that you would normally need their strength, their guidance, their advice, and, and they're trying their best to get the messages to go through. But there's something about somebody being all in their head and being too loud in their own head for the loved ones to really make, um, to get through to you energetically. So they're making things around your house move, flick, flicker, lights flashing, bugs popping up out of nowhere. Things like that are happening because your loved ones are trying to get through to you that they hear you and they want to help you. Okay. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, especially if you're grieving them really, really bad and you're not taking time out to just cry it out, they want to help you, okay? Aries, Leo, and Sag. Inner child, yeah, like it's like you even might go back and look at your childhood pictures with this person or rehash moments that you've had with this person um, that's on the other side. It's a lot of energy of loved ones on the other side wanting to help you, but also help you either release the grief of losing people, the, the, the heaviness of life I'm hearing, um, internal struggles and battles that you've been having. Um, this could be with self-esteem. This could just be how far your life has come in the last five to 10 years, things like that. There's some shadow work that they want to help you with, okay? They also want you to see the big picture of this situation, the bigger picture of them being called home to glory, right? Oh God, somebody's crying. I'm sorry, babies. The bigger picture of why they needed to come home, some of them were sickly, some of them they were called. God, it was just their time, right? So seeing the bigger picture to possibly someone passing over, but also the bigger picture to all the strife that you've gone through to, over the past three to five years. You've been going through a lot. You may have also felt like there might be bad luck or bad juju on you. It's not that. Things needed to be stripped from you. Things needed to be taken from you for a certain reason. Everybody's different. I don't want to go into 16 different scenarios, but there were certain people, places, things, actions. I'm hearing it's more actions and internal battles. And some, some may have felt like, oh, I'm just going to indulge in more work. I'm just going to indulge in more business. I'm just going to indulge in more trips. And it was like, yeah, but you're not, you're not 
addressing the internal battle. So there might be some internal shadow work and it was like, yeah, but you're not, you're not addressing the internal battle. So there might be some internal shadow work things and it could be something as simple as grieving the loved ones that have passed over, right? There's something about being in that vulnerable space. Maybe somebody's running from being too vulnerable. Your boundaries are high. You don't want anyone to get too close because what if I lose somebody else? And what if somebody else dies? Oh my God, I'm sorry, y'all. So if it's not you, it could be someone that's close to you. But I feel like this is y'all. Like some of y'all just have some of that energy inside where it's like, I just don't want nobody to come this close to hurt me again. So I'm just going to indulge in my own wants, needs, single life, whatever that is, okay? I'm not saying that you can't celebrate your big wins, but there's some shadow work that needs to happen because there's someone in your future that wants to love you, that wants to, that your loved ones know that you're, you're meant for. And it's just time. It's time to grieve. It's time to let go of that dead end job. It's time. It's time. It's time. Fire signs. And y'all know what that is. Auntie love y'all, but I might not be hitting the mark for everybody's example, but you know what it is. It's time. I'm about to cry again. Because somebody was getting ready to say, none of those examples are mine. You know what yours is. You know what that black pit is because I'm feeling it. And I was not crying in the earth signs. Whatever it is, it's time to grieve it out. It's time to get the counseling. It's time to do what you need to do, okay? One more card here. Listen, I'm, I don't... I'm, I'm not one of those readers who I try to say, I'm, I'm not lying because I know I'm not lying. It's time for you to go sit on that couch and talk to that counselor. It's time for you to go and get that, seek that help for that issue. It's time for you to release or to cry or to grieve or whatever it is to let go of that lover who said they're never coming back. Whatever it is, it is time. This card says seek guidance. And the guidance could be right here, right now, right? With your cousins in the chat and, and auntie right here, that guidance could be right here, right now that I need to take time and to really release these burdens, the things that didn't work out for me, I just really need to really, and it could be that. Maybe it's the failures and the rejections of life. And it's like, I'm just not going to go for nothing too big. I ain't going to try to make it too, too eventful. If, if it's outside my control, I ain't even going to, you know, invest in it. It's like, no, life is to be invested in. You're supposed to go for the things that you want. Okay. Y'all also got sleepless as well. And stuck. And the grind. So it's and there it is, the release. So if you're filling your time with work, 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 and things you gotta do, things you gotta do, it's time for you to have some type of release. It's time to let go. And that could be the anger that mom or dad or aunt, uncle, cousin, grandfather isn't here. It could be a number of things, but it's I'm hearing you're on it, you're you already know. I'm not even going the spirit said let it go. You don't need no more, I don't need no more examples. You already know what it is. And not only that, when you go to really address these things, to seek that guidance, to release these things, this life that you see yourself living in the future doesn't seem so grim and gray. It actually will be like a colored picture, just like this here. Like it'll start to come into focus that I can, right? I can be vulnerable again. I can love again. I can, I can do this, right? Some of you may be, a, somebody, somebody may be afraid to do life without a parent. The milestones of life, like, when I get married, who's going to walk me down the aisle? When I have my kids, who's going to be the grandparent? Like, what, what, what happens? Like, what now happens now that you're not in my life? So some of y'all may have that, and that may have scared you from wanting to go towards that next big opportunity or option. Okay. Let's get your love messages out. Because um, I think this was pretty, pretty spot on and clear. But you're not stuck. The only stuck is what's going on internally and mentally because everything else seems to be working out. So the things that aren't working out, it's because you can't see them clearly because it's things going on internally and mentally, emotionally, I heard as well. And there's also obviously the spirit. OK, three cards deepening a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months. You have been waiting for this. There might be <laughs> there might be someone who is waiting for you to address your inner inner wounds so that they can have the relationship that they really want to have with you. I feel like there's a life partner that you've already met, you've already dated, you already know that this is either a soulmate, twin flame, something like that. But one or the other is not allowing that person to get too close, okay? I'm only going I'm only going with the few months if this person who needs to address themselves or their their situation. I'm going to be honest, fire signs, it's you. <laughs> Whatever you need to address to allow somebody to get closer to you. 
If you address it, that opens up the timeline to allow that person to, to come in. But if you go the next couple of years without addressing it, well, God can't align you with someone that you're not aligned with, okay? This is not a, I, I, this is not a, if somebody put that, this is not a bashing session, okay? I'm not bashing anyone. I just heard somebody go, she just bashing the fire signs. No, I'm not. I want to help you. I want to help you release this. Your loved ones on the other side want to help you release this because you deserve to live and be happy, okay? Be present. You will attract love by enjoying your life as it is, wherever you are. Be all there, all here, all here. And this person is crying, or at least it appears that they're crying. Be all here. So some of you may, like I said, the rejections or the regrets of the past, trying to figure out why your loved ones had to go on to glory. And open yourself to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. Because some of y'all guards are so high. You don't want someone too close. And then what? They leave me. They break my heart. I don't feel like doing that again. Right? And at the bottom of the deck is uh, someone from your past is or will be returning to your life. So there could be a reconciliation. Whether you want this person or not, it could be someone that you don't even know. Right? Like some of us be like, I don't want that nasty ass relationship I went through and they made me this and gave me a heartache. It may not be that person. Maybe that one person that you dated for like two months and you were in one space and they were in another space and y'all just were not in the, in, the, in the right space at the right time, right? And when I say the right space, that could be mentally, emotionally, physically not in the right place, right? It could have been someone that you dated for just a little while, but you had this amazing connection with, but... Again, I just feel like somebody didn't let the, their, their person in. Yep, and now there's make the effort because they are the one, someone who you might have been distant from. And it was a magnetic connection when y'all first dated. So have patience, okay? Because they are a soulmate. Y'all just had to take different paths and balance. <laughs> and you now need to put yourself first so that you can understand what unconditional love really is, okay? And the last one is take back your power. So... When it comes, and I'm going to speak right to my fire signs because I love y'all. Maybe some of y'all just don't want to be vulnerable again with love, but it's time. All right. Let me get something for your finances and abundance. For your finances and abundance. And know that if that person did come back to reconcile that they would have to be healed or they would not be able to be around you. Okay? Let's just, I just want to put that out there. It's not like I'm setting anybody up to... Be connected with a mongrel. Okay. <laughs> All right. One card for your finances and abundance. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. All righty. It says exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifest quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. And I feel like this exercising could be physical exercise for those it resonate with. But some, some others right in this collective, it could be exercise in that spirituality. It could be exercising that that mental clarity, right? It could be going to get your new routine. Could be getting up physically to go to your psychiatrist, your psych, um, or or your counselor sessions. Or maybe exercise is therapeutic for you. You're able to burn out the stress. Maybe from I'm seeing someone literally like either on a stairmaster or an elliptical because I can't really tell what the machine is. And even in the middle of your your exercise session, you go and you about to hit your mark and you find yourself flooding with tears because you hit a wall or you hit a breakthrough and it's like let them tears roll baby it's time to heal okay so whatever that means to you physically getting up putting yourself in a better uh physical energy will help will help with this whole process as well as manifest the life that you see yourself living all right let's get into your I'm also seeing salad back here. So I'm hearing something about make sure you balance it. Like if you go and get a burger somewhere, maybe you don't get the fries. Get a side salad instead of the fries. Um, and it's not even about you losing weight. It could be more about how you how you feel after you're done eating this very heavy, greasy meal, right? You could be a size zero, but after you eat a heavy, greasy meal, it's like you don't feel upbeat. You don't feel positive for some reason. So maybe it's the heavy grease or greasy foods that could also be contributing to that low vibrational energy, okay? Doesn't feel toxic, right? <laughs> Y'all know how I am. Take your chakra test. See what see what chakra might be out of balance. Let me get two cards from the spirit team. 
when it comes to mindful messages. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> First one out is return to the body. When I am <laughs> when I am caught up in a stressful moment, I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw clenched? My body tense? How is my posture? This help this helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm and present. So if that's what you need to do, check in with you. And that's what I do when I'm meditating. I check in from the toes to the head. Is my like are my fists clenched? Are my toes locked up? Is my tongue pressed to the top of my my you know the roof of my mouth? Is my jaw clenched up? Like if any of that's going on, I know I need to relax. I need to relax. Right? I need to allow spirit to take that, that low energy from me and commitment. I am committed to my growth and dreams. I set routines and habits that help me evolve, that help me evolve, one more time, that help me evolve into my fullest potential. Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know they have been vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me. All right, my loves, I hope that helped my fire signs. Um, there's definitely some loved ones on the other side that have passed over that want to help you understanding this journey and how to come back to yourself. But as soon as you're ready to get that guidance, spirit, God, universe will align you with the right person, counseling sessions or otherwise. OK, y'all are so welcome. Y'all can do this. God got y'all. I am sending y'all healing energy. God, please wrap your love around all of my babies and allow them to see the silver lining and the healing, the happiness and the joy. Um, by seeking guidance and releasing the old. Ashe, amen, namaste, and so mote be. Thank you, fire signs. All righty. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Water signs are all cried out. I'm hearing that song, All Cried Out Over You. I don't like somebody don't have no more tears. <laughs> I got no more emotions. Air will be last. Sorry. Air will be last. Air is the, the very next. My earth signs were first. Then I did fire. Now I'm with water and then air. Okay. Air signs I'm hearing all cried out. I think that was a um, Allure. A-L-L-U-R-E. I think that was the name of that group. Um, but they are all, so you're all cried out. You don't have no more tears. The well runs dry. Um, four seasons of loneliness by, oh my gosh. Water signs is ready to take y'all to y'all makeup. <laughs> Water signs are definitely ushering the uh, the past uh, right on down to the holy gates, aren't you? Mm. Take them down to the night water. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah, that's what that is. Four seasons of loneliness by boys. Boys to men. That's what that song is. That's playing in the background. Hey. <laughs> So you might have gone a whole year or more without seeing this person physically, connecting to this person physically or something to that nature. And it has been, I feel like it's been more than four seasons of loneliness, but this last year I feel like really was heavy for that for someone. Okay. Y'all don't care. <laughs> Water signs don't care. Y'all, uh, y'all, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm in my solitude. I'm reading my books. I got my, my fluffy little socks on. I got my hot tea. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Okay. <laughs> Some of you may have changed the, uh, the furniture in your home. So this could be a new couch, a new bed, new pots and pans, new serving utensils, or maybe you just moved all together. You may have changed the look of the home since this person is like, why is this person all in y'all energy? Let's okay. Excuse me, ma'am, sir, miss. I'm going to need your energy. Just have a seat. All right. In your solitude, in your in your place, wherever you live, your home, your apartment, whatever that may be, I do feel like there's a lot of um, more of you focusing on you, right? You're not really too much trying to tune into the buzzing, so your ears may be ringing, right? Because <laughs> my ears are ringing. Oh shit, your ears may ring a lot here lately. That's because people want to be in that good energy of yours. But I keep feeling like it's stay to yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, if somebody's not showing high vibes, enjoy enjoy the company of one until someone shows that they're they're not low vibrational. Okay, yeah, y'all are studying, y'all are getting back to self. Um, some of you may be looking for holistic ways to maybe lose weight, 
uh, holistic ways to get your vitamins, your daily vitamins, um, holistic ways of maybe dealing with the, pa the pain and the ailments in the body. So this could be joint pains or anything like that. Maybe some of you have some gastro issues. So maybe it's hard to go to the bathroom and things. It's like, I'm not in the mood to look at or talk to anyone that's not benefiting my future. So I also feel like some of you may have joined some um, type of online community where you're getting like some really good information. This could be about, again, healthy lifestyle, um, it could be anything in regards to uh, almost like cultural, like you're learning about different cultures, um, different foods, like some of you may be expanding like your cookbooks. You're indulging in you. You are. I, 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 listen, water signs are not moved, baby. You cannot shake these water signs. You're <laughs> out here going on shopping trips and taking you know midday lunches and y'all are just enjoying life right and I feel like there's something about just kind of learning who you are and kind of taking out the extra some of you may have kind of backed up from drinking right maybe there's no drinking there's no smoking or maybe you're more moderate you're moderating more of what you're taking into your body I feel like there's just something about water signs wanting to be ready when the time is ready right if God bless me with that millionaire I'm gonna be ready okay <laughs> to move into my mansion <laughs> So whatever it is, I just, okay. Y'all see how that flipped out? Oh gosh. Um, choosing love. So it is on its way. So I feel like if you are online dating, all that you're doing is supporting for you to align with love and all eyes are on you, whether you know that or not. Um, but I feel like, like my water sign says, if they are not feeling your energy, they're not going to flirt. They're not going to take your number. No, they don't want to have that conversation. Even though I, all eyes are on you because you're vibing high, baby. Like, look, look at how she walking around, male or female. Okay. Like you just have this aura that people want to know who you are, where you came from. How'd you get here? Um, but you're not in the mood for anyone and it, whether it's romantic or not, it could just be someone randomly in a grocery store that just wants to talk to you about the chicken and how you're just like, oh yeah, that's nice. And you walk off cause you know that that exchange of energy, mm -mm. the devil sent you. Like, <laughs> like I said, y'all are, everything you're doing is in alignment for the life that you deserve to live. And that includes a soulmate. Okay. So whatever it is, holistic eating, not allowing people to stress you out, um, Especially when it comes to this person from the past that just buzzes in. It's like, a, do y'all get flies or fruit flies randomly in your home? I'm seeing flies or fruit flies or something like that. Like things flying around your home out of nowhere. It's like little pests. I keep wanting to go like this. Ugh, get your ass out of here. <laughs> so when it comes to your life, everything that you're doing, you're supposed to be doing. Incorporate those new foods. Um, learn about those herbs. Buy those crystals. Say those prayers. Go and enjoy life. And, and you've been discerning. I'm hearing your intuitions on point when it comes to other people's low vibrational comments and energy. Um, you've been, somebody just said Heisman them hoes. So you've been Heisman them hoes. You don't want nothing to do with that. Um, but it's coming. I don't know if it's necessarily coming online. Some of you, it may be. It feels like a mixed bunch. Some of you may meet this, your soulmate in person. Others of you will meet this person online. But everything you're doing right now to stay high vibe. It's in alignment for what's to come. I just heard June, July. Be on the lookout for something really big in June and July. June or July. Thank you, Spirit. No, June and. Somebody just put and in big red letters. June and July. So maybe June you get the, the notice that it's coming. In July you actually receive it. Okay. But I'm hearing if you feel like you should be in hibernation mode right now, go ahead with that energy. Don't force yourself to go out. Don't force yourself to have an adventure. Don't force yourself. Don't force yourself. Everything should just be seamless as it has been here lately. It may not have been big, you know, piles of money everywhere and big accolades everywhere and big parties to go to. But everything has just been consistently one step closer to where you want your life to go. Momentum, momentum, momentum. There had, I don't feel like there's been 10 steps back. I feel like everything has just shown that it's another brick laying me closer to the life that I, that I deserve to live. So just keep on keeping on. I don't know the last time I ever said that. So I don't know who on the other side might be like, you jive, turkey. Just keep on keeping on. Like, <laughs> I don't know the last time I said jive, turkey either. Yes, thank you, uh, Victoria. Water, water, water during this time as well. Water signs. I mean, you are a water sign, but y'all know that the human body needs more water than anything. So just make sure you're tuning into that water, water, water. Wow. I, this is y'all card. This is y'all card. All right. So when it talks about your finances and abundance, 
Dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. If you've been having a lot of deja vu, another thing to write down, not just your dreams when you wake up from a dream or wake up from a nap, but if you had deja vu, text yourself what's going on in that deja vu, how you're thinking, what you're feeling, what's going on around you, and maybe even sit with that and be like, I wonder what God's trying to say, or allow your spirit team to come to you, if you're one who prays and meditates, to come and give you some insight to why you feel like you've lived that moment twice, okay? Y'all know that's what, oh goodness, I went right to that and, cause y'all don't want to talk about love. Y'all afraid this person going to come back and tell y'all some more <laughs> messages. <laughs> I didn't even pull y'all love cards. I went right to your abundance cards cause that's the energy I felt. So I still got to pull some love cards y'all. Right. Somebody just said, but you already talked about it. So we don't need to pull no more cards. <laughs> your person could, that person from the past still could try to come through, but let's see. No sodas. All right. No juice. Just juice and water. I know that's right. Let's see. I just heard kick rocks. Like you don't want to. You don't want to hear about that person from the past. I understand. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for liking the video. Truly appreciate you. <laughs> Let's just get the three cards here. Just give me the three. Just give me all three of them. Thank you. Deepening a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months. You have been waiting for this. I said June, July, so that could be the time from that a lover could be coming up. Um, open yourself to love. It is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. Like I said, all eyes are on you. So there's going to be love this year. I feel June or July. I do. But open yourself to love, to experiencing love. I think some of y'all are already in that energy. You just haven't found or someone hasn't found you that you can feel that type of energy um, An unbreakable love. This person has a genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. So it, I'm OK. I just seen warning, not a warning toxic, but a warning more like this is going to be a different type of love. Right. Some of you may be a little hesitant with getting too vulnerable too quick. Um. But this person wants to help you. They want to help you through your grieving. They want to help you through the stress at your job. They want to help you through the stressful moments that you're having throughout the week. This is going to be someone who wants to understand you because I'm hearing you're difficult. And I don't mean that in a mean way, but some of y'all have been through so much. It's not going to be easy for you to just open your barriers like a flood and let someone in. You're a water sign. So that that can be detrimental to you emotionally. Right. Um, for my Scorpios, I love y'all. But damn, if someone hurts y'all heart, that stinger comes out and it's it's like an AK-47. Right. So there's something about this love that you that's coming for you. You're not going to be able to scare them off. OK, I'm just letting you know your tears, your your up and down roller coaster, any of that. They're just going to be like, I, I'm just trying to learn how you are. I'm just trying to learn where I fit in when you're upset, when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're joyous, when you're, you know, whatever grieving. It doesn't matter. This person. So this is a soulmate. This is someone who wants to be with you and learn you. Unbreakable, unshakable bond is what I heard. Thank you, spirit. So gratitude, you need to be grateful for the love already present in your life to attract more of it. I feel like a lot of y'all are grateful already, but I feel like there's something about just kind of allowing the heartache and heartbreak that happened to be like, it really is celebrating that human rejection is God's protection energy. Like really being grateful that you weren't stuck in that situation because maybe some of y'all know how that person from the past is living, what they've been through. And it's like, I'm glad that I got... I got God when I did, right? <laughs> hate to say it like that. I'm glad that you showed your ass and I packed my stuff and left before this ended up my life. So whatever they have going on over there, that could have been y'all life together. And I think you're very grateful that the heartache and heartbreak or situation that didn't work out that they didn't because you could have been in the middle of their, somebody might be in a very bad depression. I'm hearing somebody might have had bankruptcy happen. Someone had their car repossessed and possibly got kicked out of a home. Um, someone might have gotten kicked out of an apartment because the apartment burned down or because it had a really bad infestation of some way. Either way, this person from the past has had some karma hit them. And if you were there, you would have got hit by them, you know, that residual, you know, I'm just saying. So there's some type of gratitude and I'm hearing gratitude towards the love, the love that didn't work out. Because y'all know that person is not peachy keen. All right. <laughs> and red roses. All right. 
And also, if this person has asked you to bail them out in some way, shape, form, or fashion, that is not your karma to put on. So even if it is like, oh, I've known them since we were kids, you know, growing up, playing at the playground. Well, now we're 40-something. Now we're 30-something. And I'm pretty sure that you've made better decisions and you've learned from some shit. Have they not? Well, it sounds like they're still in school and they need to remain in school. We're not doing no early outs. We're not pushing nobody to the next grade. No, you need to do what you need to do to grow and heal and learn. You can't just suck up somebody else's goodness and blessings. And that's what would have happened. They would have sucked up your goodness and your blessings that you've had recently. Okay? And I'm also hearing that they might, some of them may really not have anywhere to go. They're going from place to place to place. But guess what? That's also not your karma. You didn't ask them to go and burn the bridges that they burned. You didn't ask them to go and act a damn fool in front of family, friends, and loved ones who are caring for them. That now these people don't want to be bothered. If they don't want to be bothered, why the hell should you be bothered? So I'm just saying that, okay? All right. Let me get two cards from the spirit team. And then we're going to move to my air signs. Make sure y'all follow me over on YouTube. The Healing Butterfly is my only channel. I make sure that I post all of my TikToks over there. All of my readings are timeless. So if you need another reading from spirit or specifically about love, make sure you... Go through the, uh, the messages over there and tune into any of the messages that are calling your name. All right. First card out is opportunities for growth. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Everything is happening for me my evolu and my evolution. I am not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along my journey. I see how difficult moments helped and help me to become my best version, and I am thankful for them. These are the building blocks that I was talking about, how you know that things that happened were supposed to happen. You were supposed to leave. You were supposed to do me dirty. You were supposed to give me a promotion. You were supposed to give me some a bonus, right? Everything that needed to happen were the stepping stones to this life you're about to live. So even now, if people fall short from what they said they were going to do for you, that's all right. It's all right, babe. God got me. Amen. Amen. Okay. Unique lives. I respect everyone's individual decisions and way of life. We are each on our own unique journeys, and my way isn't the only way. My job is not to change others, but simply love them. And I hear love them from a distance. You are an example. Like I said, people do have their eyes on you. The way that you carry yourself, and, and I'm also hearing if, if people knew your story and where you came from, they would never think that you are who you are. So maybe when you go back home, people don't even recognize, like, let's say you haven't lived home where you grew up as a child in a long time. And when you go home, people don't recognize you because what you've been through, right? I'm not the mess I've been through, right? I'm the blessing that came out of the mess. I'm the phoenix that, ri that rose from those ashes. And that's the beautiful thing about this energy right here with this collective is that no matter what comes, y'all are already in an energy of transmuting it and making it for your good. That's why it's getting ready to happen, right? You didn't, you're just not allowing anything to shake y'all. And I'm just very proud of y'all. So, all right, my water signs, y'all be blessed. Invite me to the, uh, the whatever, any parties, because I like y'all energy, okay? I'll meet y'all down there for happy hour. <laughs> we can go shopping for crystals. <laughs> All right, my loves, y'all are so welcome. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right. And last but not least, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I swear, every time I get new one of these little things, too much. All right, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Get a good shuffle on these cards. Can nobody take my shine? Can nobody hold me down? Oh no, I got to keep on moving. Broken glass everywhere. If it ain't about the money, I just don't care. Okay. Um I, I don't know who's trying to make you feel down or down about yourself, air signs. But I see y'all like laughing in the face of the devil. Someone is, uh, y'all have readings or you've had readings where someone says, oh, people doing dark magic. You need to go save yourself, save your soul, put salt on your door. Make sure you crush up some, you know, eggs and put them on your feet. Listen, there's so much going on around y'all of people who just thought that they would always be a part of your life. 
and it's not. Like some people thought that they were going to wait you out and eventually your heart would go soft and you would let them back in again and you haven't. You're not in the mood anymore. Um, if people have been trying to put you on blast at work because you hiccup on something, I feel like a lot of you are like, and I'm human. And shit happens. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Okay, I hiccup on that one thing. You want? Can I fix it and then give it back to you and you can move on about your life? Like That's how I feel like my air signs are. I'm not about to sit here and have a whole dissertation about a damn thing. Get to the point, fix it, and let's move on. Like That's how I feel my air signs are. So air signs are, are air, right? Sometimes they can be long-winded, but they're not right now. They're acting more earth, earth energy, right? Grounded, looking to, if it's not stable, it's not even a conversation, right? If you're not a stable person, this ain't a stable conversation. I don't even want to try, okay? All right. Um, I'm, he <laughs> I'm hearing diamonds are forever. <laughs> Y'all have to listen to that original Diamonds are forever where um, I think it's Kanye, right? Kanye sampled that that original talks about I, who needs a Who needs a partner when diamonds are forever? Right. Who needs that that disheveled person who doesn't know if they're right for you or isn't confident in themselves when diamonds can just give you everything you need? Now, I'm not saying be, you know, all materialistic, but there's something about if it doesn't shine and if it's not real while wow, you are in your bag and getting rest. I see that much that came out. <laughs> That's if it, I'm gonna say it like this way. If it don't make dollars and it don't make sense, that's where the air signs are at because they put too much energy and time in trying to figure out family, friends, loved ones, and it's just, it's, it's more energy going out than what's coming back. So they're now looking at life like an investment. And a lot of y'all are liabilities and not assets. And for that reason, air signs have to let you go. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. What do we got for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? <laughs> Y'all got the momentum. Who else got this? My, my earth signs. Um, manifesting your life, moving forward into what? Because you see that finish line. Y'all might be getting 444, 11, 11, 12, 12, 10, 10, 666, 6, 6, which actually is a good number. It just talks about pause. Uh, realign yourself with what you originally asked for and make sure that you're doing what's needed to be done. Um, some of you might get 777, seven, seven, God's protection as well. Okay. But the finish line, I feel like you've already crossed the finish line with certain things and you have not congratulated yourself on that. Take some time out to celebrate your wins. OK, um, one of my counselors used to talk about that, the endorphins in the brain. If you don't slow down long enough to recognize the good, your whole life is just a bunch of bad, a bunch of negativity. I could all oh, I won, but I could have won by two point five more seconds than what I did. It's like stop scrutinizing every little thing and just celebrate the fact that you goddamn beat it. You reached the finish line. It's happened. It's done. Right? Some of y'all are I just feel it. I'm gonna just say it like I feel it. Some of y'all are spending so much time looking at the laundry list of things that haven't been done um, or that you haven't accomplished versus the uh, magnificent list of things that you still got done in the midst of some really tough life circumstances. Some of us don't fight back at life. Some of us crumble and we just don't even care anymore. But my air signs, I feel like, have been through a lot. Maybe deaths in the family, other things of that nature. Just very heavy emotional things that some people would not have fought back about. But you did. And you reached goals while doing it. It wasn't like you just stood up and allowed day to day to happen. You still fought back. So there's something about slow down and really celebrate your wins. If not, you just it's just a life and a cycle of scrutinizing yourself and scrutinizing things until it turns into a black depression hole. I don't care if all you did was get up and wash your ass today. High five your damn self for not laying in the bed and being funky and depressed all day. You get me? Like, give yourself that grace, okay? All right. Let me get another card from my air signs. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Everybody's getting this card. Why is that? I guess eyes is on everybody. I'm going to keep it, but that's not where I... Oh, Okay, so maybe some, God damn it. Somebody may have their eyes on you for some sexy time. It's up to you whether or not to have that sexy time. I do think that the sexy time would be like maybe massages and it may seem, it may be a one night of romance. It doesn't seem like it's low vibrational, but it does, it doesn't feel like it's a forever love. So someone could still have their eye on you, air signs. But it just doesn't, to me, feel like they're giving you a relationship. It's like somebody could give you that one night of like feeling like the only woman or the only man in the world. 
but I don't know that it's coming with um, a relationship. We'll see. Two more cards here. Someone who could do it right. Ugh, we're not getting into that. But if you need it, go get it. If that's the healing you need, baby. Just know that I don't think that that's fully coming with a relationship. It may be all eyes on you and you have a whole night of romance, but I just don't. Okay. Manifest. I choose courage. My voice matters. Abundance finds me. I am love. So it is time for you. I do feel like there's something about getting into your prayer life, writing out your affirmations and or manifesting that next step in life. Some of y'all have had some blessings already come in. So what's next? Is it the love? Is it a business? Is it a, a, a vacation? There's something about manifesting that next thing in your life. What is it? Because you've already completed some of the tasks already. I'm hearing your angels are ready for your next for their next assignment. I just heard we're ready for our next assignment. So your angels are ready for the next assignment. What's next, loves? Not the big, not the big, big, big blessings. What do you want to happen in the next, I hear the next six to nine months? What do you want to manifest in the next six to nine months? That's what spirit wants to know. That's what the angels want to help you with. You got solitude as well. And sneaky, sneaky with burdens and building a home. In your moments of solitude, are you starting to unravel how certain things felt heavy? People who lied to you, things that were, I just feel like... When you go back and look at old text messages, you're noticing that somebody was kind of insinuating that you were this or insinuating that you were that. So in your solitude, you may in the next couple days, five to seven days, you may start to people are going to reveal themselves to you that they never really loved you like they said they loved you or that friends aren't really holding you down like they said that they would. Things like that, I feel like are getting ready to come up, um, but it's all I feel like in regards to your home, your spiritual team, your sp your loved ones around you. burdens i don't know if this happens to be getting organized in the home or feng shui in the home right lighting candles incense cleaning up that pile of laundry um dusting <clears throat> dusting cleaning your mirrors and when you're cleaning your mirrors make sure you're also banishing anyone from trying to look through those mirrors at you right we're going to banish out all that negative energy some of you have been saging in a dirty home not a dirty home but just a home that hasn't been cleansed um that's why it seems like you're saging all the time Cleanse your home, okay, babies? Get that dust up off there, them streaks up off that glass, something like that as well. But you may end up finding that a, a, a loved one or a family or a friend was not really 10 toes down with you. I'm also seeing that somebody's family or friend may end up dating somebody from your past as well. So only take what resonates, but this is all to kind of build your home, right? I also hear follow, there's also that follow that spark. You also have the soulmate card as well. But this is something about building your home to be a pleasant, peaceful, calming um what do they call it? Like ushering in the goodness into your home. Okay. But be on the lookout. Somebody may not be who they say that they are. Or you may end up finding out that someone possibly could have done you, done you wrong in the past. Or was talking breezy on you. Because I keep hearing dirty laundry. So maybe somebody tried to leak your dirty laundry. But it wasn't even that, I just keep hearing it wasn't even that serious for you to even say nothing. So maybe somebody went to your ex to tell your ex everything that's going on with you. And you're like, you extra as shit. Like, why would you even do that? So that's what I feel like. Somebody's going to open their mouth and they shouldn't have. Something like that. Why are you just minding your business? While you're just solitude. Yeah, while you're just minding your business, someone is like trying to stir shit up with people from your past. This might be an ex. Some of y'all know who this is. This is an ex-friend who you no longer deal with, but yet they're still talking on your life like they know you and they ain't been around you in years. So it could be that. All right. Okay, let's get some love cards out here. Balance. <laughs> there needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable. Like I said, so if there's someone who you are kicking it with, having a good time, baby, get your kicks on Route 66. But I just don't think that this person is in a balanced energy for a relationship. Okay? Just saying. Some of you have some other, um, I don't know if it's emotional, but it's more like internal where's my life going kind of thing that you want to get under control before you put somebody else in your life as well. Okay. Well, there it is. Law of attraction. 
You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. And what is that? That's a new love. A new chapter begins, whether it's, it is with a new partner or a current relationship. I don't think it's a current relationship because like I said, if there has been someone who had like really good time with in whatever way that was, that was I just don't think that that person's in a balanced um, level for you in a relationship. So free yourself, okay? You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful, right? Um, and I also have be honest below that. So be honest and open your eyes, right? That this, I feel like whatever happened in the past just was not someone who could withstand a lifelong relationship. And just be optimistic, okay? Because new love is coming for you, my loves. Just don't, I don't think it's the person from the past. I just got to be honest. Very, very few. And if you, and if it is somebody from the past, they're going to be nothing like the past. They're going to be aligned with who you see yourself being with. And it just so happens that they've grown and healed and evolved enough to be ready for you. Okay. Some of you may feel like it's time to get back to work. It is because you've already reached the finish line or the goal of something. And that could be the spark of the idea. Like God's like, finally, we got the idea through to them, right? Now we just need them to go ahead and make that idea happen, okay? So it is time, I feel like, to get into manifesting and, and aligning yourself, right? Meditating. When I meditate, I meditate like I'm sitting in my big old mansion right now. I'll be telling my butler, go and warm up the car and everything. <laughs> Baby, people probably be like, she is delusional as shit. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to delusion myself all the way through this manifestation. I'm going to tell you that. And when you see me rolling, don't stop me for no ride, baby. <laughs> Remember, I was the Lulu when I was trying to manifest. So some of y'all just need to manifest with, with the intention, right? Put in the energy that this is going to happen. Have the faith, have the courage, have the fearlessness to manifest the life that you deserve. One from the angels for your abundance. I said one, and they gave me two. So we will take both, okay? The first one is sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the attention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions. So this is what I was talking about in regards to manifesting more for yourself, not second guessing, oh, it's not going to come, so I don't want to, I don't want to ask for too much. No. Ask for everything because I feel like there's some things in a past life that you're still owed anyways, okay? And ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels come can come to aid you only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So like, your angels are on the other side waiting to help. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. Just keep hearing whatever you need. Are you about to be spoiled in your relationship too? You might be spoiled in your relationship too. Whatever you need, whatever you want. I keep hearing that. Some of y'all are afraid to ask God because you feel like you've asked God for too much already. Some of you are afraid to ask God because maybe certain prayers haven't been answered just yet. Whatever you need. I just keep hearing whatever you need. Oh, whatever you want. Because you know I treat you right. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, girl. Yes. That's Tony, Tony Tone too, I think. All right. Okay. So whatever y'all want, whatever you need, it's right here. Just ask for it and it shall, and it shall be done. And it shall be done. Did someone end, um, end their prayers with that? And it shall be done. or it, and, it, and it is done. Something like that. Maybe start using that. So mode it be as above, so below. And it shall be done, and so it is. Maybe end your prayers in that in that manner, but with I'm hearing with confidence. They want you to bring the confidence to your prayers, bring the confidence to your manifestations. You've done this before, okay? Thank you. One more. Thank you. Wow, why are the same cards coming out? Y'all got opportunities for growth, but I'm gonna need a fresh card for my air times. Oh my gosh, that one slapped the bag on. Thank you, Sherry. So self-appreciation, I find a moment throughout the day that I can dedicate to myself, find a comfortable space and bring a pen and paper. I will write a letter of appreciation to myself where I will pour love into who I am and all that I do. Some of y'all have not stopped, like, like y'all have not stopped to see how far you've come. 
When's the last time you stopped and said, oh, wow, three years ago I was in a shack laying on the floor with six other people. Like, I don't know if this is really somebody's <laughs> situation, but you might have come very, very far. Somebody must have been living in a house with multiple people. And now you're to a space where you can pay your own bills. You don't need anyone to stay with you. You don't need anyone to help you out. Like there's something about appreciating how far you've come and it'll give you the momentum to get the strength to persevere. Okay. And then recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow oh, my connection to this earth. If I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. Some of you obviously don't want to go outside because that snow and that ice is mean, but <laughs> there is something about um, tantalizing either the, the skin or the or the nose. So this could be a warm bath. This could be a hot shower. This could be massages. This could be anything like that. This could be standing. Somebody may have a heat lamp standing under a heat lamp or near the heater. Um, this could also be something about the nose. So, you know, essential oils, um, burning candles, burning incense, things like that, that will give you that connection to nature. Okay. Whatever that may be for you. I don't feel like too many of y'all are going to be outside though. It's cold in these streets. Y'all also got the opportunities for growth and gratitude because things are moving forward for you. I'm also hearing the gratitude energy will also help you kind of release some of that tension because you feel like I got to keep the reins. All like I feel like both of y'all, uh, both of y'all, who is both of y'all? I feel like y'all have the reins and it's like, I just don't want nothing to get out of control, right? I want to make sure that I have everything in control and you do. Okay, just calm down, slow down and appreciate how far you've come and stop beating yourself up for not reaching that next goal by, I don't know, 2023. I guess maybe some of y'all wanted certain goals to be done. Stop beating yourself up and think about how much you did take care of in 2023. Especially I'm hearing with the life circumstances that you did not plan for. So y'all might have had some really big burdens that came along in 2023 that you were not expecting, but yet you persevered through it. And you're here in 2024. So make it happen. All right. Okay, y'all. That's all I got for today. <laughs> Truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you just got here, my apologies. I am closing out all of the readings, but it will be loaded on YouTube. So make sure you follow me over there. The Healing Butterfly is my only only channel on YouTube. So make sure that you follow me over there. All readings are timeless. So make sure that if you happen to see another one that sparks your interest, that you go ahead and tune in. All right. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. I can't thank y'all enough for allowing me this opportunity to just connect. It does so much for me. So sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we meet again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right, love bugs. Namaste. Take care. I oh, love you too, Amber J. Love you all. <laughs> y'all have a blessed one. There go my girl. Hey, Vanity Vixen. Y'all make sure y'all stop by Vanity Vixen 20. If you need any type of makeup, hints, tips, tricks, that's your girl. If you have an event coming up right now and you need um, a traveling um, makeup artist or esthetician, Vanity Vixen 20 is going to be your girl. If you're out there in that Texas area or if you're willing to fly her out, she's willing to fly out to come to you. So make sure you stop by Vanity Vixen. Follow her. She has some amazing, amazing tips for everyone. Um, and such a beautiful soul. So just want to shout out my girl. Make sure y'all go over there and follow Vanity Vixen 20. Love you lots, sis. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care. Have a blessed, blessed week. And I will talk to y'all soon. Namaste.